Every so often, a young man or woman comes along who seems to already know his or her destiny. David Hanita was one of those youngsters. From the very first time he attended space camp, he just seemed to know that his destiny was in aviation. But his dreams were even more lofty. David says he's wanted to be an astronaut for about as long as he can remember. So he worked out a deal with his parents and his grandfather. They would pay half the cost of him attending space camp if David would save up to pay the other half. Well, by the time he finished the fifth grade, the money was there, and David was on his way to Huntsville. He says attending space camp that very first time solidified his dreams. He would follow those dreams back to space camp again and again until midway through college and David became a space camp counselor. It wasn't just a summer job for David. He told us that he was truly enchanted by the magic of space camp and in his words, I was there to help facilitate that magic. When I was a manager, I had to go down to learn Enterprise Hab, Habitat, which is one of the simulations on the floor. And David was the one that was going to train us. So as managers, we walk in and David pops out of the airlock and with such enthusiasm and he gives his whole speech and he's so excited and he's jumping around and we're not sure really what's gotten into David um, but when he finishes he said all right that's the way that you need to introduce this area you got to get the kids excited this is fantastic this is their opportunity of a lifetime this is what they want you to do and if you don't do this then you're not giving them the experience that they need. So he had a huge impact on his kids. It took everything 100% all the way up to the next level and challenged all of us around, around him to do exactly the same thing. He chose to work with the high school aged students because he says they weren't just looking for a summer activity, they wanted to be here. David says he watched their dreams solidify and says that was his reward. David finished at Auburn with a degree in mechanical engineering, and later this year he'll celebrate a decade as an Army aviator. He has patrolled the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea and served two tours of duty in Iraq, flying almost 1,200 combat hours in support of our troops on the ground. His current assignment is at the Naval Test Pilot School, where he'll become an Army Experimental Aircraft Test Pilot. But his goal is the same today as it was many years ago, when David was still in elementary school and he saved up his money to pursue his dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce the newest member of the Space Camp Hall of Fame, Major David Hanita.